Howdy out there, David Duford here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In this video in my ongoing series of final expense telesales training from home, I'm going to specifically talk about the differences in selling final expense over the phone from a sales presentation standpoint and a scripting standpoint. There definitely is a slight difference in how you sell face-to-face -face versus how you sell over the phone. And what I'm really going to detail in here is basically the biggest changes and then also give you free access to my entire final expense sales presentation script that you can put to use right away if you want to sell successfully over the phone. So let's get started. So first of all, um, in preparation, if you're like a lot of agents watching this now, you're worried that coronavirus crisis may take you out of the field. Maybe we'll be in a lockdown and nobody can leave their homes, but we still got bills to pay, right? Maybe you're thinking, well, let's, how can I strategize and get prepared for a possible shift, temporary or permanent, to final expense telesales? So a couple of resources besides what you've seen so far. Uh, first of all, uh, check out Cody Askin's channel. I think I saw in one of his recent videos, he was doing some kind of uh, product or module training with uh, Ramiz Hakim, uh, who runs North Star Insurance Advisors. Uh, it's a considerable amount. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's an entire strategy that they utilize in their call center. So it might be of interest to you. Definitely want to check it out. And Ramiz knows his stuff when it comes to telesales for sure. And then also check out the video and, uh, that I did with Danny Ray. Uh, I'm going to link that below somewhere on the bottom. And uh, he's been selling life insurance and final expense successfully for a while now. And it's a really good overview, about 50 minutes of uh, how to successfully sell over the phone, what the differences are, and kind of how he does his pitch. So I think you'll like that. So let's talk about the main subject at hand here, which is what are the big differences between selling face-to-face -face and then selling over the phone? So the first thing I'll say is approximately 90 to 95% of it's exactly the same. So I'm getting a lot of concerns from my agents, for sure, as well as other agents saying, hey, do you have a script? What can I do differently? How do I sell the stuff over the phone? So sales is sales, okay, guys? It doesn't matter if you're selling over the phone. It doesn't matter if you're selling face-to-face. -face. Ultimately, people operate by the same system of determining what's in useful to them and what they're interested in and whether or not they're going to buy. So there's not a big difference than what you're doing right now. There's slight differences, I think, that are worth noting that you need to make sure that you're adjusting if you're not already doing this. So let me go ahead and go over all of this. So first of all, I'm a very permission-based person uh, def by default, but you've got to be way more assumptive. Cody Askins talked about this on a recent video. You have got to assume the sale from start to finish. Your language pattern should be getting yeses. Your language pattern shouldn't be asking for permission. It should be begging for forgiveness. In a sense, you just assume that they like it, they love it, they want it, and all of the language pattern that you go through. If you're not assumptive, you're in essence not in control, and you're likely to lose prospects that might have bought from you if you showed a little bit more urgency in the assumptive side. So be assumptive if you're going to do telesales. Number two, be more energetic. Now, what do we lack when we sell over the phone? We lack body language, we lack eye contact, we lack uh, body uh, contact, okay? And all of this is very important in the scheme of communication. Without it, we have to rely on what we have left and overemphasize it. So what do we have left? Well, first of all, we have the ability to elevate our energy level and transition or tran transfer that through the phone. So you gotta be lively, you gotta be upbeat, you can't sound normal. Even something like this may sound a little bit boring and drab. You need to sound interesting, exciting. You need to be in tip-top shape, ready to roll, and excited on every single call. Also, you need to practice your tonality. Are you speaking too fast or too slow? Usually everybody speaks too fast. So slow down your pacing. Modulate your pacing as you emphasize key points. I've talked about in a lot of my trainings, you know, when I talk about something that's really important, I'll physically lean in, lower my tone and say, look, this is the deal with this. And then emphasize, you know, hey, term terminates or something. Uh, that you can do the same thing in modulating your voice over the phone and you really need to do that. Also, um, I think you need to do more, uh, kind of along the, lane, the same lines, more illustrative, is that the right word? Illustrative, illustrative <laughs> word choice. So what do I mean by that? 
So I think you've got to, and I inserted this into the script that you'll get for free that I'll show and flash on the screen here real quick. But I think the key thing with uh, telesales is you've got to be very uh, pragmatic in painting the picture, all right? You have to understand that selling final expense or any life insurance product is, is somewhat intangible. They can't hold final expense in their hands. They can't see it. It's just a promise that they've got to die to get, right? So it's a strange product to think about. But I think it's important to understand that you've got to take opportunities face-to-face -to -face too and telesales to paint the picture. So the way we want to do that is literally say, can you imagine if this happened to you? Or let me paint the picture. Let me tell you a story. So you really want to heavily lean on stories that you've accumulated as an agent throughout the years or that you've accumulated through just listening to other training. Again, in this script that you're going to get, there's three particular stories that I reference. Feel free to take those, steal those. But in, instead of saying, hey, I know this guy because you really don't, say, hey, a guy that I really respect in this business told me about this uh, particular client of his, and it'll have the same exact impact. But we need to tell parables. We need to tell stories. We need to create an emotional connection. And, and stories and visualization is the best way to do it. And it's even more important because we lack the face-to-face -face communication. Last but not least, and this is something personally uh, as an insurance agent that I, I used to do a lot of because I didn't know any better, uh, but face-to-face -face eventually stopped. But when you do telesales, you definitely have to do it. And that's building a lot more rapport. Okay, so the rapport building is especially important since there's nothing face-to-face -face substantive that you can share or convey a level of trust from. So uh, all the agencies and the lead generators I've talked to in putting together this program have all agreed that you've got to intentionally build more rapport. You've got to ask them about who they are, how long they've lived there, what they retired from. Show a, a, a sizable a level of interest in who they are to connect with them and allow a relationship to blossom from this. Uh, whereas I might do less than five minutes, more like less than two minutes of rapport building face-to-face. -face. If I'm selling over the phone, I probably want at least 10 minutes, if not longer. And making sure that the conversation sticks on the client, not you. So how do you develop rapport? Kind of use the same strategies I use. You can also reference the timely nature of uh, what's going on if you're watching this during coronavirus. And uh, if you're de developing leads locally, you can insert, as you'll see in my script, uh, conversation to tell them, hey, look, you know, before we go any further with why I'm calling, I notice you're right down the street from me or you're around the corner from me. Is there anything that I can do to help you? I know a lot of people have been stranded. They're concerned. Maybe they can't get to the grocery store. Uh, before we do anything, is there anything I can do to help? You have kids around? And that, that blossoms into a, a reasonable and meaningful conversation. And if you go out of your way and you're using kind of a local lead strategy here, quasi-local lead strategy, you're going to differentiate yourself from every other single telemarketer on the face of the planet that just reads a script and doesn't think or interact like a human being. So the rapport building cannot be understated. It's vital that you follow this, that you get good at this. And really what happens is the rest of the sales presentation is essentially the same. You're assumptive. Uh, you lead the client. You ask the questions. If they ask you questions on the phone, you ask them a question back to retain uh, authority. You pre-qualify. You figure out what kind of drafting mechanism they have as well as their budget. You tell them why your product's better than the alternatives. Let them draw their own conclusions based off of the evidence that you share. And then you ask for the business. And then you start writing the application up three-way the interview in and you've closed the deal. So along with this, uh, f uh, this script, I didn't show it on the screen, but there's really no reason to. Uh, it's, it's going to be in the de description box below. It's completely free. You do not have to down, you do not have to sign anything or sign up for anything or pay anything to get it. It's just my way to try to help you guys out here overcome this uh, hopefully temporary roadblock in the coronavirus crisis that we're in. So please download that there. Also below that, I've got a cheat sheet. I don't have it available to show you, but it's a final expense telesales carrier cheat sheet. Again, totally free. You can download it and you can click file, make a copy, save it to your drive, or just always bookmark that and then know that it's always updated live as if, if carriers change or that kind of thing. But the reason I'm putting all this out here is that I want you guys to succeed. Okay, this what has happened here has been extremely scary for a lot of you out there. I've certainly heard all of your concerns, 
But the great news, unfortunately, in a way, is that people are dying is top of mind. And we've got to leverage a strategy that's going to get people to help get them the help that they want. And with face-to-face -face possibly not being an option very long from now, you need to be well prepared ahead of time. So the good news is that if, you, if you're a servant at heart and you care about the people that you talk to, then you'll do just fine doing this. I promise this isn't as big of a deal as you think. And um, you will work through this potential short or medium term uh, rough patch. I'm here to help you. Please let me know. I don't care if you work with me or not. Uh, you need to survive this business, okay? I started in the Great Recession. I'm so glad I survived even though I failed out the first time. I don't want you quitting. These people need your help. They're not going to have the regular door knockers around knocking on the door. They're still going to want life insurance and people are going to die anyway. So you have to help them out. And I want you to stick in this business, which is what I'm committed to doing with as much free information as I can to empower you. If you've got any comments, questions, constructive criticism, please leave them in the comment box below. Uh, if there's anything I can do to help you in the telesales final expense world, you want to work with me on that, I can help you there. Go to daviddufour.com, click join Dave's agency for more information. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for your time. We'll see you later.